on for the night. Okay. I'm <clears throat> just coming back to read this real quick. And then I am out. Okay. Because it is after 12 and I didn't realize. And the sister needs to sleep anyway. So read numbers 31, uh, 35 through uh, 37. It talks about the division of the spoils. The division of the spoils or your Bible will call it division of the praise. Share this out, please. Um, sharing is caring. Pump those hearts so I know that you're there. And <clears throat> let me just read it to you real quick. So it starts from about 31, 35, and it talks about the division of the spoils, right? The spoils of war. That's what spoils are. Thank you so much, uh, du jour and family. Everybody, thank you so much for the hearts. Um, so it talks about um, the women, 32,000 women who had never slept with a man. Um, and then 32 means gathered unto God, like gathered to God, right? 23 means died of self. 32 means gathered to God. But I'll do another scope on that another time. Um, and then it talks about, it mentions in 33, uh, it starts listing, you know, the booty. I can barely see it on the screen, but let me see. Uh, and Moses and Eleazar, the priest, did as the Lord commanded. Did as the Lord commanded uh, Moses. And the booty being the rest of the prey, which men of war, there you go again, war, men of war had caught was 600 thousand seventy thousand and five thousand sheep now that means something else and three score and twelve thousand bees i don't even know what bees are but i'll study it later on and thirty and two thousand persons in all of the women who had not known man by lying with him right so these are virgins these are people who are consecrated right it also means 32 also means consecrated to the lord gather to me god is saying gather to me when you see 32 and stuff like that on the clock um but that's a whole other teaching then it says and half and the half which was the portion of them went out to war that went out to war was in number what three hundred thousand and seven and thirty thousand and five hundred sheep okay so three hundred thousand seventy three thousand so three seven three five hundred okay that was the amount of sheep right and you'll see this Again, if you start seeing 37 again, and it's all over in scripture, actually, you know, but I'm not going to have time to go over every area that I found it in scripture. But here in verse 36, this is numbers. Again, this is numbers 31, um, 36 specifically. This is where it describes his sheep, right? But this was the half of the portion for those who had gone to war, right? So what is God saying? You're mine, right? And even when you see 37 in scripture, it is applying to sheep, people who thirst, people who know his voice. There's, there's actually scripture that talked about 37 something, probably like thousand thirsts or something like that. Um, but every time you see 37 in scripture, it refers to sheep, his sheep. His sheep who know his voice and another they will not follow, right? And it also refers to war, war, right? So the word that the Lord gave me, of course, is accurate last year. War, you know, warring, warring in the heavenlies. I'm going to read it to you again. The words that he, that he showed me are related to this number 337 three, specifically um, is war in the spirit. War in the spirit. Now, yesterday, I saw the 337 a lot. So I asked the Lord again. I always ask just like I'm a child, like like he didn't tell me the first time. You know, I trust his word and everything. Um, I just always want to know if there's like further revelation about it. And I heard Sherry, right? 
Now, chéri is a French word uh, without the E. It's just an I at the end, and it means um, chéri without the E at the end means female. Chéri with the E at the end means um, it's a masculine version of beloved, right? Like you are his, his love, his beloved. Uh, let me look it up again here just to be as accurate as possible and tell you that again, I always say when God gives you a, like a one word kind of thing for a number, just always look up the, um, always look up that word. Don't assume that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know the definition because, you know, you might be surprised even in reading the definition. Sometimes it's saying so much more than what you could have figured out on your own just because you know the word already you kind of in general you know what it means so sherry also means dear or darling right so when i saw 337 a lot yesterday and i asked the lord i heard sherry and then i wrote it down and i looked it up sherry like mon sherry but i just saw sherry which means darling it also is a term of endearment sometimes from a father to a daughter which is awesome. Like, I was like, wow, this is why you got to read the definitions. You can't act like, oh, I know, I know, I know that I know that I know this, right? It also is from a daughter, sometimes from a, a, from a father to a daughter saying, dear, my dear, my darling, you know, my beloved, beloved. Mon means my, right? So I didn't see the mon. I just saw Cherie which means um, it's a female name given. Um, and it means beloved or darling or sweetheart. If you look it up in any dictionary, it's going to say dear, sweetheart, or um, it's used in referring to addressing a woman or girl. So that's what the Lord was saying when at times when he's showing me 337. So sometimes it might be when I'm worried. Hi, Prophet Miller, how you doing? Sometimes it might be when I'm worried about something and he's saying, you're my darling, you're my dear. And remember, I told y'all he had me in Songs of Solomon a lot. So Songs of Solomon in itself is like a whole love language. Like it's on a whole other level, which he's been showing me more revelation about. And um, it's just amazing. So when he showed me that word, Sherry, he knows I know what Sherry means, even though I don't speak French, never took French in my life. I only took Spanish in high school. But it's such a popular French word that he knows that I would know what it means. So God will speak to you in the language that you know best, right? Um, and so, like I said, 337, while it means war in the spirit, yesterday he gave me something um, new uh, that it also means Sherry, like he's speaking to his, his child, his darling, right? And that would totally go with Every other place that I see 337 in the Bible, like the one that I was previously showing y'all, y'all up late, huh? Um, <laughs> she about to go to bed. That's what she about to do. With this go cutting off as many times as I'm going to take the hint, hallelujah, after this. So um, war in the spirit when you see this number 337, if you're seeing it, but also know that um, the, the uh, 337 also refers to God saying that you are his sheep, you are his. Sometimes it's not that complicated, y'all. Like he's just looking for you to seek him out. Like um, when we seek out revelation and Prophet Miller is able to tell y'all this too. Um, sometimes like it's so, like everything that he's leading you to is so complex, but it boils down to a simple, simple message. That's all through the Bible, right? Just like the first shall be the last and the last shall be first. This is something that God has been speaking to me for a long time, I guess, because he's saying I'm last. <laughs> Which, you know, tends to be true, you know, um, when I see people getting blessings and stuff like that. Um, it just tells me that what I'm waiting for is going to be even greater, like, all the weight, you know, like he wouldn't let you wait so long 
if it wasn't going to be great. That's for whatever, you know, it could be for a job, it could be for the husband, the wife, you know, for you men, it could be for anything, right? But if you see everybody else getting blessed, God is going to watch your attitude and see, you know, how you are handling that, right? You can't be jealous of people, you know, you have to be um, cheerful about, you know, like everybody in the body of Christ that gets something, you know, comes into their promise or whatever it is, God blesses them. That is a win for all of us. That's a win for all of us. Amen. So again, 337 refers to you being his sheep, his beloved. It also refers to warring in the spirit. So just pay attention to what you're seeing. I mean, when you see it, what you what's coming to mind or what you're thinking about when you do see it. Amen. So that was numbers. Uh, this was numbers. Is this 20? Oh, yeah. Numbers 31. 31, 31 through, through about 39. But it shows you um, the 3,700, 30,000, and 500 sheep in verse 36. Amen. So as you're reading, as you're listening, God will show you those numbers that you're seeing in his word. Sometimes they're not in his word. Sometimes you just have to listen to the word that he's giving you. Just like I told you last year, I had that vision. It's a, it was a long vision and I was just in worship, not about, you know, I wasn't thinking about numbers or anything, but I have been praying about it. And how many of you know that you can't really tell God when to give you the revelation? Sometimes he just drops it on you in the middle of worship about something totally different just worshiping right so that's that vision that i had last year where i told you all the words that i was mentioning earlier Ahem. <laughs> prophet miller you got a question i'll take your question because i'm basically done i'll take your question hallelujah and you know we don't all see the same ones um but i i do see a lot of them but there are times where people will tell me a number or something, and I'm like, no, I don't see that one at all. But I can guess what it means based on just what, you know, God is speaking. Not guess, but if God says something about it, I can tell them around about what it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. You know what? That's my bad. I do need to send you that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. This week, let's say this week. Not let's not say tomorrow. Let's just say this week. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yeah. I got you. So, um, you know, God is good. I'm praying that you all um go over the old scopes. You can skip around, but don't miss any of the prophetic instructions. Uh, one of them was to read over the Songs of Solomon. Please share this out. It is a corporate word. Go over the songs of songs of Solomon, read over it. Also review all your prophetic words. I have been. And, um, you know, um, I'm amazed sometimes of like, you know, when, when the Lord speaks through his prophets, his apostles, and then you see yourself doing it like months later, not even trying to. Right. So in that dream, I was viewing, reviewing all my dreams, my dream book, like a dream journal. And so I knew Holy Spirit was saying, if you are diligent to go over those old dreams, I'm going to start prophetically, you know, giving you more downloads uh, for the interpretation, right? More interpretation of those dreams and other people's dreams, because other people have been sending me their dreams. Um, I mean, I'm in other Bible studies and stuff like that with my church and whatnot. So, you know. God has been training me for a few years in that, but I hadn't really uh, stepped out. And then I got a word the other day from Dr. Lenise. So I know that um, he's leading me in this area and I've had dreams about it, but I didn't move on it. So when I'm, what I'm instructing y'all to do is to move on the words that he actually gave you. Move in that direction, review it, move on it, and then study the songs of Solomon and ask God to give you fresh revelation about what he's saying in that word, in that whole uh, book, because it's loaded, it's loaded. And so as he's talking about the marriage, 
um and and uh the woman in songs of solomon her struggle between the shepherd and solomon man i i feel like that's going on right now it's going on right now the struggle between two choices two opinions right um and like i said uh, things are going to happen quickly prophetically and so you will have to make quick decisions quick decisions in this season, right? And you're going to see that the Lord is just doing things for you. He's just doing it for you. Um, just like the story I gave you earlier of my friend, right? The job was just chosen for her, right? And it will be sometimes things that you forgot that you even cared about, things that you, you know, you done, you didn't pick up in a long time. Like I, you know, a lot of my speaking gigs got canceled, you know? So I'm looking at that. I'm thinking, okay, maybe God is going to make that Start, you know, he's going to show me for some fruit in that area. Um, maybe that'll come back. Right. So it'd be like the things that you were like, okay, let me focus on these other things, right. The other services I have, the other products for you, business people and, um, or the other loves that you had, like your first love that you done put down, right. All of a sudden somebody will call you up to do that thing. And you're like, what? play like uh say you play an instrument or something oh you want me to play at this church lord like i'm rusty like i didn't you know i didn't think somebody would want me to play but somehow somehow right we know that somehow is god the yod right smallest letter right he is though a big god and somehow some way they caught your name in the wind it caught your name in the wind and they called you forth to do that thing that you did not remember you even liked to do. <laughs> like I used to write poetry. So I, like I'm thinking of all the things in my life that could come back. Um, and I'm just excited, like waiting, waiting as I usually am, right? Waiting and watching to see what God will do. And he's already doing some things, of course, that I can't mention on here, but till I get through it, right? Um, but I can't wait for the more, right? The bigger, right? The latter, right? Um, especially because he had me so uh, double first fruit, double first fruit. I told y'all that uh, some scopes ago, like maybe a week, two weeks ago. So that is very interesting. When God tells you to uh, double your first fruit or whatever it is, you know, he's saying double, double, okay? He's saying I am going to double up whatever you think that, you know, I was going to do for you times it by two. Hallelujah. Times it by two. And that's your word. Amen. So anybody have any questions? Definitely look at the previous goals. You know, it was a little struggle. It was a little struggle. It was cutting off a little bit. But, you know, let the spirit lead you to whatever ones you want to listen to. Amen. So, um, anybody have any questions? If not, I'm going to go into quick prayers. Uh-huh. Amen. Anybody have any questions about 37, 337? Can you all hear me? I hope you can hear me. Uh, uh, you know, I t- <laughs> let me stop, Robert Millie. <laughs> You're making me hood on this thing. <laughs> No, I was talking about that earlier. I was, I sure didn't push through. Thank you, Dejour. Lord have mercy. I think I broke that up into four scopes, three or four scopes. Um, I'm praying that that thing would come, but that I would have. I talked about deliverance earlier. That people make sure they get uh, ask the Lord for any deliverance they still need. Uh, pray for that for their husbands and their wives that are coming. You know, all the single men as well. And, you know, I see God also restoring marriages, you know, um, as he's bringing together unions, of course, and fellowship, right, with new people, of course, the devil is also doing his things and trying to break up marriages. So y'all keep praying for marriages, keep praying for marriages. So matter of fact, um, I'm going to pray right now real quick. So I received that prophet million in the name of Jesus Christ. And, um, he must have come before this, uh, 
for this PhD manifesting so cuz I might just go with my last name hallelujah if, <laughs> you know if I become doctor anything I might just take my last name you know just go with my last name so he got to come he got to come before I do the PhD hallelujah I mean you know although relationships might be difficult to do with a degree but anyway I'm not going to confess that Lord. I cancel that in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you for your people, God. I thank you for your word, God. Your word is true. You are Jehovah Sadat, God. You are the righteous one, oh God. Father, we call you Jehovah Nisi. You're our banner in war. You teach our hands to war and our fingers to fight, oh God. Father, we just come before you and ask you to wash us clean, oh God. We repent. For anything in our minds, oh God, that we're not pleasing to you, anything in our hearts, Lord, um, that that we're speaking um, negatively against our own words, oh God, anything um, not cooperating with the words that we got in last season or last year, rather, Lord, um, anything negative at all, any procrastination spirit, oh God. We come against it by fire in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, for your people, oh God. And I ask you to wash your people in the blood of Jesus Christ. Sanctify them, oh God. Sanctify them, oh God. Wash them in your blood from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, oh God. And Father, you said everywhere their feet shall tread shall be a fire of the living God. Everywhere their feet shall tread shall be their territory, oh God. And Father, as you're moving people into new territories, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I claim and I speak that they will possess the land in the name of Jesus and they shall have deliverance and they shall possess their possessions in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for all of the marriages that are coming forth, oh God. I thank you for the men who are getting delivered, God. I thank you that you are raising up strong men, oh God, to be leaders for these other younger men, oh God, who is teaching the men, Lord, is what I asked you the other day. Who is teaching the men, God? So I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the leaders would not just focus on teaching the men, God, but they would, teaching the women, God, but they would also shift and focus on teaching the men, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they would teach them to be holy, that you are a holy God, Lord. Father, we call you Jehovah Sabaoth, God. You are the Lord of hosts, God. You are God of the angel armies, oh God. So, Father, send your angels out right now in the name of Jesus and fight for your people, Lord. Send for deliverance now in the realm of the spirit, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Send forth your love, God. Shower them with your love, oh God. Give them the peace that surpasses all understanding. We call you Jehovah Shalom for a reason, God. You are our peace, oh God. Just as uh, the Shulamite's name means peace, oh God. Father, we thank you for that peace that we're married to. Hey, we thank you, Lord, that we're married to your peace, Lord. We thank you that we're married to your peace, God. And you're blessing us abundantly just because you love us, God. Just because you care for us, oh God. Just because we are hidden in you, God. And you said that you will bless those who bless us, oh God. And, and let those who blessed us this year and last year, people who have so so seeds into us, Lord, let them receive it um, double, Lord, even a hundredfold in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why I went there, but I, pr I pray that those people would see that their seed went into good ground, oh God, in the name of Jesus, for all of your uh, apostles and prophets and all of your leaders in general, God, pastors who minister on here, Lord, that they wouldn't ever have to beg no bread. Father, you said that, you know, we've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging, begging bread. You said that in your word, God. So, Father, show us the bread, Lord. Just make it manifest. Make miracles just manifest, oh God on holy ground this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed ground, oh God. Blessed homes, oh God. Let it be like we have the Ark of the Covenant in our homes, oh God. Let our homes be blessed in the name of Jesus. Let our families be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us see the fruit, Lord, that was planted years ago by other people, by the laborers in the field, Lord, and us, oh God, in our families. Let us see that fruit. Let us see that harvest, Come to pass, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And let those people touch others and be a witness and a testimony 
that you are real. You are a good God. And I would say now that if you are not saved and you're listening on the outside, God is speaking to you. There's no reason to um, test it anymore. There's no reason to say, hmm, I wonder if that prophetic word was for me, if it's lining up with everything going on in your life. I do not know you. God knows you. Amen. And so I pray that you would pray that Lord Jesus Christ, uh, you are the son of the living God. I believe you died and rose again on the third day, right? According to your scriptures, according to your word, God. And you rose, you died for our sins, oh God, so that we would receive healing, so that we would receive deliverance, oh God. And so I believe your word, Lord, come into my heart, Lord, and be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior over all my life in the name of Jesus. And you can say, the prayer any way you want to say it, just make sure that you confess Jesus Christ as Lord in that prayer, that you mean it with your heart and your mind, and you mean it with all your soul, because the angels of the Lord come for those words, and they will read your scroll in heaven as you get saved, as you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, and everybody will cheer in heaven, amen, and we will cheer for you as well here. But if you want to remain anonymous, just say those things in your heart. Say it out loud. Um, confess the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Amen. And I pray, Lord, that this God will bless your people, that those seeing those numbers, they'll be able to tell the difference, oh God, between uh, witchcraft and uh, things that are of the Lord, oh God, signs and symbols and uh, the things that you're showing them, oh God, that... Um, they usually have a difficult time discerning, Lord. I, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that it will come clear to them right now in Jesus' name, that it will come clear to them in this season, God, right now, even right now, that everything would just line up. And I told y'all earlier that the Spirit of the Lord showed me that as I read over my dreams and my visions that I wrote down in my journal, Show me that in a dream. And that as I go over all the prophetic words that I've heard before, that he will, he will come to give you fresh revelation. Fresh revelation about what it all means. About what he's saying. And then you'll, you'll say, aha, uh -huh. it all lines up. It all makes sense. In the name of Jesus, it all makes sense now. So, Father, I say that everything gathering against your people lord must scatter seven ways in the name of jesus any hindrance oh god any spirit of delay oh god we cancel it by fire in the name of jesus christ father anyone dealing or wrestling with spiritual husbands or spiritual wives oh god i pray in the name of jesus christ that you would send forth their healing send forth their deliverance that you would teach them how to pray about it and also pray deuteronomy 24 um pray um the word of the Lord that says that spirits cannot um, intermingle with human beings and that you divorce, you issue a divorce decree in the realm of the spirit from any spiritual husband. Because these things, again, are marriage breaking spirits that can hinder you from your husband or wife that God is bringing to you. So I know we don't like to talk about the flip side of those things, but I got to also release that word and keep it real with y'all that you want to pray about any other deliverance that you really need before that person comes and some things will be worked out when they do come but god is definitely speaking about marriages and fellowships in this time so review songs of solomon review all your prophetic words in your dreams hopefully you text them to yourself hopefully you put it in the day one journal and father I bless your people, God, everyone listening to this word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would spark something in their minds, oh God, that they remember something else that you told them, God, and things would just make sense, God, in Jesus' name. And so we bless your holy name, God. You are Lord of all, you're omniscient, omnipresent, and omnipotent, oh God. And we thank you, Lord, that we always keep on our armor, the armor of the Lord, Lord, as you spoke about warring, warring in the spirit for our stuff, oh God. Warring in the spirit, meaning warring in our language as well, oh God. That we would keep on the full armor of God. Our breastplate of righteousness, our belt of truth, God. We declare that our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And that we take the sword of the spirit, oh Lord. That divides uh, joint and marrow, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Soul and spirit, oh God. 
Thank you, Lord, for being a discerner of hearts, oh God, and pouring out discernment on your people, Lord. We put on our helmet of salvation, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we take the shield of faith to quench every fiery dart of the wicked one, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We press forward, oh God, because we do not have armor on our backs, Lord, for a reason. We press forward. We press forward, oh God, with the shield of faith, oh God. We press forward with our breastplate, oh God, of righteousness. And we press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. I thank you, God, for your Christian soldiers on here, Lord. I thank you, God, even for your apostles, oh God. That God would spark your mind and call you up higher in this season. Because God needs you. God needs you to do more. He needs you to get out there. Whoever has an apostolic grace on their life, I don't know, I'm not getting a certain person but i know it's on here because i can feel it amen it's called discernment of spirits i know that the lord is saying he needs you to get up now he needs you to go forth now stop questioning who you are it doesn't even matter that much it doesn't even matter that much it matters to god but if it's going to stop you from going forward if it's going to feel too big for you then don't think about it that's what I mean by it doesn't even matter. Don't think about it. Put it aside and just say, I'm going to do the Lord's work, period. And do what he tells you to do. Because that is also your obedience, right? The things that he's speaking to you every day, the things that he's leading you to do every day, that counts for your obedience. Not just walking in the statutes that you've read of old, but God is a living God, amen? Yes, that will be done. So in Jesus' name, we cover your people in the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord. Now bind any backlash, any spirit of backlash or retribution. We bind any retaliation for these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Lord, that we are blessed and highly favored of the Lord. And no one can curse those who you bless, oh God. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. We seal these prayers in the blood. Thank y'all. I'm so happy that we got to talk. <laughs> I'm so happy that we got to talk. I love y'all. Y'all know y'all need to go to bed. Uh, we should be warring in the spirit right now. I think I'm going to go to bed though. So y'all pray for me, please, as I'm praying for you. Pray for me, please, as I'm praying for you. I need the prayers. Okay, hallelujah. Okay, I love y'all. Maybe I'll go see who's on right now, if anybody's on, but I really need to go to sleep. Hallelujah. Okay, so I'm not going to say I'm going to be back tomorrow because then sometimes that doesn't work out sometimes. So I'm just going to say for sure I'm going to be back this week and I'll upload this uh, voice recording to YouTube as much as possible uh, if I can figure it out figure out the technology amen and prophet miller i have that coming for you this week hallelujah okay all right bless the name of the lord i love y'all be good pray 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 about the new people pray against counterfeits you know you've heard all the prophetic instructions but if you came late just go back to um some of the previous gold and you can skip around amen love y'all Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, DeJour. And act on that word, DeJour, okay? That's especially for you. Act on those uh, prophetic words as much as possible. Or at least the old ones that you got. Amen? Revelation Ruth, signing off, giving you the bona fide truth. Bye-bye.